Over the last year to year and a half, we've been doing pavement widening all along I-75 between Finley and Perrysburg. The easiest way to describe it is if we start from Finley and work our way up to Perrysburg, traffic will remain where it is now between Finley and US 6. Traffic at US 6 will be on the southbound side of the road. So both northbound and southbound traffic will be on the southbound side of the road, separated by a barrier wall. Once we get to State Route 582, all four lanes of traffic, northbound, two northbound, and two southbound, will shift to the northbound side of the road, separated by a barrier wall, until we get to I-475, when that traffic will cross back over, and you'll have two lanes on the northbound side and two lanes on the southbound side. When we demolish half of a bridge, obviously it's not safe for traffic to drive immediately beside that. Also, while we're removing pavement, you have workers working, you have drop-offs to traffic, all that kind of stuff. So that's the biggest reason why barriers can't be removed. Again, starting from the south to the north, from Finley up to about uh, State Route 18, we need to switch traffic to the inside of the road and remove and replace the outside of the road. Once you get there, traffic is on the inside. We are currently building the outside of the road between there and Route 6. Once I get to Route 6, we need to build the entire northbound portion of the road. And once I get to 582, I need to build the entire southbound portion of the road. Once we get up to the Perrysburg area, we need to rebuild the entire 475-75 interchange. Unfortunately, Next year, there'll be some four-month ramp closures um, in the 475-75 interchange. Some other uh, more minor closures would be to just mill and fill the pavement on those ramps. And then the other more major ramp closures would be State Route 582 on the southbound side of close for 45 days, the same as the opposite two ramps did last year. I would say the biggest tip for any driver in driving through a construction zone is just paying attention. Um, I think that's good for any driver whether you're in a construction zone or not, but especially now. Um, the lanes are a little bit narrower, things are a little bit different, they're not what you expect even if you drive through it every day, things are always changing. So traffic really needs to pay attention, they need to slow down, follow the speed limit, um, and always watch out for the other guy. Because it's not, it's, it's not you and I that are causing the problem, it's the other guy that usually causes the problem. So if we're all looking out for the other guy, then we're looking out for each other and things should work out well.